Hi folks, Scott Sager here with you here, RTC TV4, with another legal minute for you here from our sponsors at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP here in Rochester. Today my guest is Andy Perkins. Andy, hello and welcome. Thanks, Scott. Good to be here. Yeah, so what are we going to talk about today? Well, I want to talk a little bit about estate planning. Estate planning, big subject, right? It is. It is indeed. Well, dig in. Start to tell us a little bit. When most people think about estate planning, they think about uh, uh, having a lot of money to give to their children right. or grandchildren. Uh, that's not really what estate planning is. Certainly people in that in that bracket need some estate planning, mm -hmm. but estate planning can be uh, uh, those of us who, who aren't of, of great means. Estate planning really is a, an issue for everyone. Very good. It comes down to identifying your assets, okay. identifying the goals that you have for distributing those assets, be it to children, grandchildren, charities, churches, uh, and then finding the right tools to meet those goals. Okay, so the difference in estate planning and creating a will, for example. Look at creating a will as one tool in the estate planning toolbox. Okay. Uh, there are wills, there are trusts, mm -hmm. uh, there are questions to be considered about how real estate transfers, uh, the life estate, the transfer on deed, all of these are, are in the estate planning toolbox, if you will. Part of identifying the goals is asking yourself what's most important to me, because sometimes there are trade-offs. Mm -hmm. For some people, certainty is the most important. Okay. Knowing exactly what will happen to those things when they pass on. For others, it's simplicity. Leaving their, their loved ones as little red tape to mm -hmm. deal with, sure. if you will, as possible. And it's going to be different for everybody. Right. And so what we try and do above all is education. Mm -hmm. um, when someone comes in to do some estate planning, it's often that question, I need a will. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of branches off into discussing other things like uh, uh, other goals that they have and how those may or may not be met with just a will. Mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes right down to it, um, I spend a pretty small percentage of my estate planning time drafting wills. Okay, That's part of what I do, I but I spend a great deal more time educating people on what the parts of the will mean, mm -hmm. why it's necessary for them. So I think I think education is the key. Absolutely, very interesting. Now, right off the bat, we're talking about estate, and you're right, that word does, you know, connotate in our minds something of, hey, the mansion and the rolling hills and the fenced right, horse right. barns and whatnot. But in reality, it doesn't matter if your property is worth $10,000 or $10 million, it all flows smoother, or more smoothly, one should say, if there's an estate plan in place. That's absolutely true. And I, I think one of, the, one of the less technical aspects of an estate plan that uh, gets overlooked more than it should is the step that involves communicating to family members what your wishes are. Right. Uh, I, I, I don't think there's ever been a study on it, but I would hazard to say there are very few ugly family fights after someone has passed away if everyone in the family knew yeah. exactly what grandma's wishes were right. because they were told. And I think that f informing the family is is a key aspect of estate planning that I think a lot of people overlook. Sure. Uh, and it's very, it's very hard for someone to uh, 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 object or cause a problem in the administration of the estate. Look, if they were told by the person who passed away, this is, this is what's going to happen and this mm -hmm. is what I want. And, you know, it is, after all, uh, uh, it's your estate. These are your assets. These are these are whether it be land or investments or what what have you. You can also use estate planning uh, to give the court some guidance as to how minor children will be provided for. Okay. Uh, financially in a trust, but also uh, you can give the court some guidance for how it might handle a guardianship. If I die with minor children, then I can express in my last will and testament that I want so-and-so to act as their guardian. Now, there are other factors in that, mm -hmm. uh, um, including uh, whether or not my death results in that child being orphaned. If it mm -hmm. doesn't, then obviously the other, the other parent uh, is going to be, uh, in most circumstances, the, in control at that point. Uh, I can also give a court guidance through estate planning documents 
as to my own guardianship if it ever becomes necessary. Mm -hmm. If I ever reach that point when I can't make decisions on my own, um, there are certain tools that could be helpful, like a power of attorney, if I've signed one while mm -hmm. I still could. Um, but also I can put uh, in, in a power of attorney uh, a section that essentially says to the court, if you ever judge need to put a guardian over me, here's who I want that person to be. I see. And, and uh, of course, it's ultimately up to, to a judge, mm -hmm. but most courts are gonna consider that pretty persuasive. Very interesting, Andy. Communication's the key here. Absolutely. I think we all have imagery in our head, probably from the movies of the 50s and 60s, of right. the lawyer sitting around with the family all gathered and dispensing the information of um, who's getting what. Correct. And uh, quite frankly, most of that could and, and should be taken care of up front. Sure. Should be talked about with the family. Yeah. Um, and uh, so estate planning, something you guys can help out with here at Peterson, Wagner & Perkins. Absolutely. Uh, we've done estate planning uh, uh, long before I joined the firm in 2001. <laughs> okay. it's, it's been uh, an integral part of of our work here in Fulton and surrounding counties. And if anyone has uh, questions about it, uh, they can certainly give us a call, 223-4292. Uh, okay. Set up a time to come in and talk about either an existing estate plan or forming one for the first time. Excellent, excellent. Well, Andy Perkins here with our Legal Minute today on estate planning. It's a large subject. We've only covered a few minutes of it, but uh, some good information, Andy. I thank you for that. If you do have any questions, you've got the website and the phone number on the screen here. Please take some time to give them a call. They'll be happy to explain any of this to you. We'll see you next time with our Legal Minute here on RTC TV4.